on behalf of Technion UK, welcome everyone to Israel 72 Live. Thank you for joining us and we hope that you will enjoy the show. Hello everyone in the UK, it's Tel Aviv calling. Today we are celebrating Israel 72nd Independence Day and I'm very happy to be a part of this Technion event. So, I want to sing for you two songs from the Eurovision Song Contest. The first one will be Khan from 1997. So please join me. Please join me, raise your hands up in the air, and let's sing hallelujah for the state of Israel. Hallelujah, Alma Shehaya, Uma 
שעוד לא היה, הללויה, הללויה לעולם. הללויה, ישירו כולם, והאימבלים הגדולים יהדהדו בהמון צלילים, ואיתנו to keep with your amazing work and to all of you, my brothers and sisters in the UK I want to wish a happy Independence Day good health, take care and stay safe and now I want to hand over to the chairman of the Technion UK Paul Charney goodbye everyone להתראות. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the Technion UK's celebration of Yom Ha'atzmo today. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Yom Ha'atzmo Tzamech. Happy birthday, Israel. We are here because we love the country, because we love Israel, and we all want to celebrate, despite the difficult circumstances we are under. But before we go into any celebration, we must remember Yom HaZikaron. Yesterday, as you know, was Remembrance Day for the fallen soldiers, for those who fell in duty in defense of the State of Israel. This year was even more difficult than most. The current situation did not allow for families to grieve properly, to go and visit graves, to see their loved ones, or to even attend a memorial service. Our heart goes out to all of you. Before we start, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Technion itself. Most of you will know, but I'd like to push the point of how important the Technion is to Israel, to Jews around the world. The tip of the spear, really the diamond in what is a beautiful country. The Technion was established in 1912 at Israel's high-tech university, responsible for most of Israel's high-tech coming out today. It was the first institution of higher learning in Israel, um, and the visionaries that set it up saw the forward understanding, the thinking, that the success of the Jewish state would heavily depend upon the ability to innovate through technology, to think, to use the country's most significant natural resource, the brand power of the, its people. Technion has earned global reputation for its pioneering work in nanotechnology, life sciences, stem cell technology, water management, sustainable energy, biotechnology, and the list goes on. 
It's also one of only five similar institutions worldwide that include a medical school, encouraging rapid, rapid progress in biotechnology, drug development, stem cell technology. And these groups work together across the sciences in order to come up with innovative solutions. The Technion is central to the nation's economic pro progress. As the premier institute of its kind in the region, the Technion's breakthroughs can benefit all nations of the Middle East. It can cut across difficulties and strife. As a world-class research university, the Technion helps advance the frontiers of science to benefit everyone around the world. A couple of facts about the Technion you might not have known. Technion graduates comprise the majority of the Israeli-educated scientists, constituting over 70% of the country's founders and managers of high-tech industry. The Technion itself is home to the greatest concentration of high-tech startup countries all around the world, except for Silicon Valley. Companies including Google, Microsoft, IBM, all sit on Technion's campus. 80% of Israeli NASDAQ companies are led by Technion graduates. I'd like to talk a little bit about the work that Technion is doing on the current crisis, COVID-19. Currently, the Technion is closed like all other universities. But in Israel, while most of laboratories are closed, the Technion has 50 laboratories still open and working hard to help find a solution. These laboratories include all the professors who have previously discovered the vaccinations that we take for granted today. The viruses similar to COVID-19 who now turn their attention solely to the current crisis to try and solve what is a worldwide problem. They've already discovered new types of medical masks that completely, trans, tr uh, completely protect people from transmitting all, different, um, all the different viruses through their breathing, to inventing robotic inventions that help not have to deal with people on a face-to-face on a -face and a touch basis. This enables hospitals to use these robots, to enable staff to have minimal contact with difficult patients. I'd just like to say it's a great, great honor and a great pleasure to be part of this institution. I'd like to go on and on and on, but you know what? We have a little clip. We have a movie about the Technion, which I'd like to introduce. Thank you all for joining us today, and please have a fantastic celebration today. Yom Atzimut Sameach.
brothers and sisters in Jewish communities around the world, friends and supporters of Israel, happy Independence Day. Chag Atzma'ut Sameach to all of you. While this year's celebration may be different, no virus can keep us from celebrating the miracle of the Jewish and democratic state of Israel. And although we cannot be together this year, this crisis has made us feel more than ever that we are one family with shared history, shared value, and shared destiny. This is not the first time that we are celebrating Yom Ha'atzma'ut in a time of great challenges. Again and again, we have faced great dangers and threats. But our people's de de determination, but our people's determination and solidarity allowed us to overcome every challenge and the state of Israel grew into a strong democracy. This same determination and solidarity will allow us to overcome the great challenges of Corona as well. Israeli startups and research centers are already making important contribution to the global fight against Corona. And I know that the state of Israel and the people of Israel will become stronger from this crisis. I look forward to celebrating with all of you next year in Jerusalem. So, happy Independence Day. Chag Atzma'ut Sameach. God bless all of you. God bless the State of Israel. Wonderful address. Now, um, as you will see from the pictures, we have actually met with President Rivlin um, during one of our recent trips to Israel, actually for his 72, um, actually for Israel's Yom Hatzmaut 72nd um, anniversary. Now, as they say, it's not what you know, it's who you know, or is it, it's not who you know or what you know. Either way, we at Technion UK know a lot. So let me introduce myself. My name is Ida Simons and I work for Technion UK. I am the events and Israel trip coordinator. Now we have an Israel trip coming up this September. We were actually due to be going in a few weeks, but unfortunately, obviously because of the situation, we've had to cancel. So we have, so, so not to disappoint everybody, we've rescheduled for September. Please go to our website, technionuk.com org for more information. Um, oh, and to add, we are actually, we've added an extra night at the tail end of our, of our Technion trip. Um, we're going to be going to Petra um, in Jordan. We'll be doing an overnight stay there. It is an optional um, extra. So if you want to join us, please do. Now, I know obviously times are very challenging, maybe isn't our priority, but having something to look forward to, um, sh we should actually start thinking about and where better than to look forward to going to Israel as our first trip out of lockdown. Um, now, today is all about Yom Hatzma'ut, so it takes me very nicely into introducing our band Shir. Now, please feel free to dance, sing, clap your hands, grab your family, wherever you are. Even if you're on your own, dance. Let's enjoy. And I hope to see you soon. Please, God, in Israel in September. Love you all. Whoop, whoop. Bye. See you soon. Shalom and happy birthday, Israel. Yom Hatzma'ut Sameach. We are the Sheer Band, and it's a pleasure to be performing for you today for Israel's 72nd birthday. It really is wonderful that this event for Technion UK is able to go ahead online despite the current situation. Kol kavod to Alan and Ida. And now over to Morris, who will sing Naomi Shemer's Yerushalayim Shel Zahav. I'm 
צלול כיין, וריח אוהנים, נישא ברוח הארבעים, עם כל פעם עונים. ופתרדמתי לנו באבן, שפויה בחלומה, העיר אשר בדד יושבת, פוקדת הר הבית בעיר העתיקה ובמאות אשר בסלע מייללות רוחות ואין יורד אל ים המלח בדרך יריחו ירושלים של זהב ושל נחושת ושל אור לשוק ולכיכר, שופע קורא בהר הבית בעיר העתיקה, ובמערות אשר בסלע אלפי שמשות צורכות, נשוב נרד על ים המלח בדרך יריחו. ירושלים של זהב של נחושת ושל אור, הלא לכל שירייך אני כינור. ירושלים של זהב ושל נחושת ושל אור יחד לב אל לב נפתח ונראה את האור שבשמיים יחד לב אל לב נפתח בתקווה לאהבה איך שהלב נפתח חובק את העולם ובקריאה גדולה שיר לאהבה, עם רוח כל אפשר, זה לא מאוחר, השחר כבר עלה, זה זמן לאהבה. יחד, לב אל לב, נפתח ונראה. שבשמיים יחד לב אל לב נפתח בתקווה ואהבה ורק אם נאמין ובלי שום דאווין בדרך העולה
שלום, Happy Birthday Israel. שלום to all my friends in London from Tel Aviv. My name is Idan Reichel. I hope that you are all keeping well during these difficult times. I want to wish you and Israel a Yom Atzmaut Sameach, and I hope that Israel will have a happy, healthy year ahead. Ciao. back. I have great pleasure this time in introducing a good friend to Technion UK, Sharon Bali, who is the Deputy Ambassador to Israel. She has served in many places around the world, although she looks so young that I'm not sure how she's managed to do so many um, jobs all over the world, but a couple of the places she has served are Australia and Turkey. So we're delighted to have Sharon with us live today. So please join me in welcoming, in welcoming Sharon to our Yom Hatzma'ot event. Over to you, Sharon. Thank you, Ida, and good afternoon and Chag Sameach to everyone. Thank you for having me with you today. Uh, this year, Yom Hatzma'ot, is not a regular one. Normally in Israel, we would have gathered outside, watching street shows, waiting for the fireworks, and in the next day, holding our family picnics, having our barbecues. Here in London, we would have had our annual reception, creating this power room of our top interlocutors from British government and beyond. And we would have spent time with you in communal events celebrating differently together. But this year, this day is of kind Israel has never experienced before under complete closure, complete lockdown. And here in the UK too, we have to keep social distancing and remain apart. In spite of this, I'm really happy that we found a way to celebrate and be together and feel together. Because for me, Yom Ma'ut is maybe the most important and most moving day uh, in the calendar. In Israel, Yom Ha'atzma'ut has a very special atmosphere to it. Very basic joy that fills our hearts. Because Yom Ha'atzma'ut is the peak of a timeline that actually starts with Yom HaShoah, with the Holocaust Remembrance Day, in which we're being reminded of how defenseless and homeless our people have been. And these reflections naturally lead us, naturally being funneled into Yom HaZikaron, into the Remembrance Day, in which the memory of our loved ones are turning from personal losses into fibers that are weaved in this national, weave national 
texture that reminds us of our struggle for the national home, the struggle for our survival, for our existence, for our security. And then when the transition begins from the solemnity of Remembrance Day to the celebration of Independence Day, when sadness turns into happiness, we rejoice not merely our existence, but our, in our vitality. And this very moment, you know, is the essence of being an Israeli, from the heavy price that we've paid to the joy and happiness on our rebirth, on what we have in common, and on the fact that we're together. Today, we are celebrating 72 years of independence. And what an historic landmark it is. 72 years for independent democratic Jewish state. And you know, if, mm -hmm. uh, if you look back in May 1948, when David Ben-Gurion, our prime minister, declared independence, he did so against all mm -hmm. odds. Many people said, the Jewish state had no chance to survive. They said uh, the hostility of our neighbors, they would overcome us, that Israel would be destroyed at birth. Well, 72 years on, Israel has not just survived. Israel has flourished and has prospered. We are a strong country. We can defend ourselves. Our economy is vibrant, one of the fastest growing economies in the developed world. And our science and technology is at the forefront of so much international development. This year, Israel and the UK are celebrating the platinum anniversary for the establishment of full diplomatic relations between us. Exactly two days ago, on the 27th of April, we marked these 70 years. The bilateral relations between us today are as close and intimate has ever been, be it by looking at high level visits. In the last two years, we had the privilege to host two royals in Israel. We had a visit of the Duke of Cambridge and the visit of the Prince of Wales, who came to Jerusalem alongside other world leaders to mark the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz concentration camp. Prime Minister Netanyahu visited the United Kingdom four years over the last three years. The mutual trade between our country has exceeded 10 billion pounds and it keeps on growing year on year. We are cooperating on so many fields, on military, security, research and development, arts and culture, but mainly, mainly Israel and the UK are like-minded countries. We share values, values of democracy, the rule of law, human rights, civil liberties, free press, and many more. Nevertheless, our shared story has not always been so rosy, as you know. In 1948, when the British withdrew and Israel declared independence, many Israelis judged the UK guilty of reneging of its Balfour Declaration commitment to the Jewish, to, to the Jewish national home precisely when our people needed it more than ever. Following World War II, our newborn state was forced to defend itself against Arab militaries. Many were armed by Britain. Some were even commanded by British officers. It was unsurprising that Israelis viewed Britain critically, just as many in the UK were angered by the Jewish underground's violent struggle for independence. But even then, visionaries like Winston Churchill and Nee Bevin correctly saw in Israel a bastion of those shared values I've mentioned before. And they saw in it a beacon of human progress. British leaders have proudly supported Israel's right for peace and security from Harold Wilson to, to Gordon Brown, from Thatcher to May, and even Boris Johnson has fond memories of volunteering on a kibbutz, 
כפר הנשיא, where he washed dishes in the communal dining room. <laughs> I, I really hope that it won't be too long before we can welcome him again to Israel, this time as prime minister, but only this time I can assure you he won't need to do the washing up. In 1921, in a speech in Jerusalem, Churchill predicted that Jewish statehood would be good for the world, would be good for the Jews, and good for Britain. And the partnership we have built over the decades really gives us hope, even and maybe especially in these exceptional times, that in the same way our counterterrorism cooperation is saving lives, so too are our globally renowned mm -hmm. scientists working together to defeat the coronavirus. And this is exactly the point where a leading research institution such as Technion comes into the foreground. Technion scientists have mobilized in the worldwide effort to find solutions to, to this global health crisis. Researchers in more than 30 Technion labs are working around the clock to help fight the spread of the virus. Their research includes early detection and diagnosis of the virus, development of vaccines and therapies, and designing robotic solutions for remote monitoring and care of patients. Technion's added value is apparent in the close interaction it maintains between medicine and engineering, and in the interdisciplinary collaboration that are generating both rapid and sophisticated solutions to help fight the pandemic. And I think that we should get familiar with some of the Technion's unsung heroes uh, and the project that they're working on as part of the effort to defeat the disease. Uh, I'll just name a few, Professor Hussam Khayik, that some of you might have uh, uh, heard here in London when he visited, who is developing a diagnostic test uh, uh, for pre-symptomatic coronavirus uh, uh, carriers using uh, a simple patch uh, adhered to the arm or to the chest, or Professor Jonathan Savir, who is developing uh, a thermal imaging camera that measures vital signs from a distance to detect coronavirus patients, or Professor Marcel Mahlouf, who is developing methods to trap the coronavirus using nanogos technology developed in her lab, and Many more, Professor Ezri Tarazi, Avi Schroeder, Eyal Zussman, all of them innovating uh, uh, with new concepts and, and new ways to help us fight the disease. But it's not only in the research front that the Technion is excelling. Also, the Technion Student Association has rapidly joined the effort and mobilized many students who are volunteering time and energy to minimize the human cost of, of this epidemic in Israel. They obtained a list of elderly people from Haifa Welfare Department, and they're calling them and watching on them and, and distributing meals to those who, who can do it. The medical students are also volunteering with Magen David Adom at the drive through COVID-19 uh, uh, testing station in, in Haifa, as well as testing people in their home. They were trained at the Faculty of Medicine and by Magen David Adom and have been certified to carry out the testings. And I know it's a long list, it's a tiring list, but you can afford to take a moment to be proud of your support to this unique and, and leading institution, as it really it wouldn't have made it without you. Your support is so valuable. There is no doubt that as a country and as a society, the corona crisis has challenged Israel. But while facing it, Israelis have proved their mettle in so many different ways. It seems that we Israelis are exceptional at coping with extreme and emergency situations, or maybe we are just highly experienced. Thanks to Corona, 
the most simple attributes that form the basis of what, what makes Israel a great country have come to the forefront. The corona made walls between groups in our society to fall. It shattered divisions. Haredi population, together with young soldiers, in a joint effort in Bnei Brak and Jerusalem, Arab and Jewish doctors working shoulder to shoulder to save lives in hospitals. This social cohesion, this mutual guarantee, the warmth, the compassion, even without being able to hug each other, the discipline, the good citizenship. The corona reminded us the things that we cannot, it reminded us the things that we can actually do without, we can do with far less. But at the same time, it also reminded us the things that we cannot do without. And it's mainly, we cannot do without each other. We cannot do without sense of belonging. We cannot do without solidarity. And even between us, between Israel and the Jewish communities, in the diaspora. We feel it even more so on the backdrop of the horrendous statistics and the unproportionate numbers of victims of the virus in the community. The war against Corona connects us today, help us to relate to the symbols that are in the heart of Yom Ha'atzma'ut. The determination of our forefathers, their entrepreneurial spirit, and the willingness to sacrifice. Their ability to imagine and dare is a source of inspiration to all of us. So on this Yom Ha'atzma'ut, if I may, on a personal note, I want to tell you that for me to represent the state of Israel is the greatest honor and the greatest privilege one can have. And in spite of all its imperfections, its honey and its sting, Israel is a unique country, second to none. And in such days in which we really need each other more than ever, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your partnership. I want to thank mm -hmm. you for marching this road together with us. And to tell you that the pains, there are pains. The joys mm -hmm. are our joys. The achievements are our achievements and the pride is our pride. I want to wish each and every one of you Yom Atzmaut Sameach, Happy Independence Day, Am Israel Chai. Toda. Hello, everyone. My name is Wasim. Um, I'm from a northern Galilee village in Israel, which is called Ain El Assad. Um, I study industrial engineering at the Technion. It's my second year right now. And I've been asked by Alan to send this message, to record this message to the Technion in the UK. Well, I, w I would like to wish you all happy Yom Ha'atzma'ut Day, Yom Ha'atzma'ut Sameach Likulam. I'm I'm really honored to send you this message, and I would like to say a, a few words about the Technion. The most amazing thing about the Technion, and the most thing that I, that I love about the Technion is its unity. Um, the students of the Technion are so united. For instance, I come from a religion which is called the Druze religion. Uh, my main language is Arabic, but I have many friends of all the religions in the Technion, and we are all united, and it's really, really nice. Hopefully, we, I can see you in the Technion in Israel, and stay safe. Thank you. Hello, everyone in Technion UK. My name is Mayan, and I just finished my term as head of the student union in the Technion. I would like to wish a happy birthday to my beautiful country, the state of Israel. 
I hope you all be safe and healthy and I send my good wishes to all of you. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi everyone. So exciting to be here with you all. Celebrate Yom Ma'ut. We're here in Israel in our city, Paldis Khana. But uh, it's amazing to be able to connect really uh, all around the world. And that's what this song is about. Um, One day, it's talking about the unity and how we want this whole world. Uh, yeah, what we're, what we're all dreaming for. Sometimes I lay under the moon and thank God I'm breathing. And then I pray, don't take me soon. Cause I am here for a reason Sometimes, Sometimes in my tears, tears I drown But I never let it get me down So when negativity surrounds I know someday it will all turn around Because all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for For the people to say That we don't want to fight no more There'll be no more wars And the children will play One day, one day one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. It's not about win or lose, cause we all lose when they feed on souls of the innocent blood and pavement. Keep on moving, but the water's there, yeah. In this maze, you can lose your way, your way. It may drive you crazy, but don't let it fade in away. No, wait, 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 wait. Hey, sometimes in my tears I drown. I drown, but I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it will all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for. I've been praying for, for the people to say that we don't want to fight no more. There'll be no more wars, and the children will play one day, one day, one day. Song will change, treat people the same. Stop with the violence, stop with the hate. When they will be free and proud to be under the same oh, sun, sing a song of freedom like why yo, why yo yo yo, why yo, why yo yo yo. Cause all my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to say. That we don't want to fight no more There'll be no more wars And the children will play So uh, we're going to sing uh, another song uh, really to celebrate Israel. We both feel very, very connected and uh, passionate about Israel. Uh, I was actually born in Jerusalem. My parents are Americans who made Aliyah. And Yoni? I made Aliyah when I was five because I was a big Zionist. <laughs> um, yeah, my parents made Aliyah with me, <laughs> but I'm very appreciative. Um, yeah, and we love Jerusalem. We love Israel. And uh, we kind of put together this, uh, this mashup of uh, kind of Israel's songs throughout the years, throughout the generations. And uh, it's incredible to feel like a part of this chain, uh, this chain of uh, just this incredible period of time in Jewish history in the making. And uh, we're very grateful to, to be a part of it. So we're going to take you all on a little ride through uh, Israeli history. And uh, you're welcome to join us and sing along. Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Venismeha Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Venismeha 
Israel. As we go through really challenging and difficult times, I always think of Hatikva. You as a nation, for so many of us, represent hope here and around the world. And I'd also like to wish Technion UK great success coming up. Um, and now, please enjoy with me an award-winning short film from Israel, West Bank Story. Thank you. 
papers. This land will be called Palestine If only our stupid neighbor Was in the kosher king Kosher king Kosher king Yay, day, 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 day Never open on Shabbat. Our problems would be not a lot if only our stupid neighbor was in the hummus hut. We've got a crew of Jews from New York to Moscow. Shlomo on the drinks and Uri makes great chow. Don't forget Ludmilla, she's a big fat Russian cow. No. And there's Menora, Mickey. Step up and take it out. Shalom, kids! My family works together more than you would think. Mohammed's on kebabs and Mustafa's on drinks. My sister's the cashier. Mahmoud is on the grill. If Yasser didn't insist on being called Bruce, hi there. It'd be a cautious thing. Allah told Abraham, this land was meant for us. Your side of the screen is encroaching on my side of the screen. No, you are clearly threatening my side of the screen. Excuse me, it's my side of the You're screen. You back out and you start listening to me. <laughs> May I take your order? Yeah. Let's see here. Let me have a uh, settlement must be crushed kebab platter and uh, death by chocolate suicide bomber cream pie for dessert. Work here is often the same. Work it's slow and sometimes mundane. But I can't help the way that I feel. He's much cuter than my last crush. He doesn't see me. I know the punishment would be severe. Shame for my family is what I fear. I can't be so silly and forlorn. I am a homeless hat nut in love with a man in an Israeli uniform. I 
I work at a place of unrest A little bit scary and a lot of stress If only I had a good spiel Where I could tell her just how I feel When I see her When I see her When I see that she doesn't see me I know what I am feeling inside is wrong It's for my people that I must be strong I must remember I'm a Jew I know my family would never approve But I wish I could make her my boo But when I see him when I see I'm just trying to give this hummus package to somebody. Hummus! Oh, she's got a package! We got the live one! No! Hummus. No, no, Rufy! No, Rufy, it's okay, it's okay. She says hummus. Hummus? Hummus. Do I look like a suicide bomber? Like I'd be caught dead in this outfit? She's okay, Rufy. I'll take this. Stop it. Thank you. It's David. <laughs> What's your name? Fatima. My name is Fatima. It's a very pretty name. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, here. Uh, maybe you'd like this hummus package. Wow. Hummus. <laughs> I love hummus. Thank you. Uh, anytime you want it, I'll give it to you. Hummus. I mean... I should go. So, so if I want hummus, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. 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 Okay, you're good. It's good. Go ahead. Have fun. Bye bye. Was that soldier harassing you? No, he was just being nice. Nice? Nice? You want to see nice? Look at the ridiculous machine. It's breaking through our fence and spreading over to our property. Is that nice? He was nice, that's all. They're being nice, it's only because they want something from you. Last straw. Terrorist! Occupier. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yep. Let the trumpet be much on that bomb! Don't let the trumpet be much on that bomb! Let the trumpet be much on that bomb! Let the trumpet be much on that bomb! Let the trumpet be Please go back inside, Ahmed. We don't need this trouble. You know what? You'll be sorry. When we build a wall around your store, so I, not even God, will be able to see your sign. A wall? Mm hmm. Jews in construction? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> see you at the wall. <laughs> we must <must-bust> go <laughs> Good one, man. <laughs> the 
wish that we could meet under better circumstances. I should go. No, wait. Can we meet at the work? Our families hate each other. I don't care. Let me come to your balcony tonight to annoy your parents and neighbors by singing you a really overdramatic song about feelings and love. What? We're gonna build it. We're gonna build the world. We're gonna build it. We're gonna build it for love. And when we are finished, we will never let it fall. We're gonna break it. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna burn it. We'll burn it to the ground. And when we are finished, there'll be no families from fighting. No. Don't you see? It's just going to escalate. We have to make peace, not just be separated. We're gonna break it. We'll break it down, you see. We're gonna burn it. We have our dignity, we can't just sing. That's what we have to wear. Or else we would never have a war. That's why we have to win. We never let them pressure your nation. Get him out of here. This is crazy. Have you seen the wall they're building around our restaurant? We can talk to them. What is he doing here? This is David. We're in love. You stay away from my sister. You understand? Oh! Get out! Get out! Come here, come quick. Mama, what happened? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, good job. No, I didn't know this. No, good job. <laughs>
You all deserve each other. Jews in construction. Yeah, uh, this may be a bad time to ask, but uh, can I get a number two special? Are you blind? What? Don't you see? Wait it's... now. Let's see. Maybe we could make you a plate of hummus, but without the falafels. Ooh, without the falafel. I don't know. Shalom. Are you still serving breakfast, or did I miss it? Look around. Wait, 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 wait. I think, uh, I think we can put something together here. Please come with me. David, I really don't think this is such a good idea. Huh? Plus, is it this our table? Oh, ho, ho. This table belongs to the Hummus hut. This table is clearly the kosher kings. And you will return it! You, you, you try to serve our customers your pathetic food, and now you want us to return our own table? Show it the Majnoon? Our pathetic food. Oh, yeah. Our pathetic food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you open? <coughs> These people need falafels, Aliel. They must be served. They must be fed, Ahmed. Right. Shlomo, quickly, get more falafels. Mustafa, where's the hummus? Get it over here. Yama. Okay, so, uh, two falafels? I need more onions and mushrooms, please. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe. But no matter what happens with them, we have peace right here. What if it doesn't work out between them? Then I will take you to a place where I heard of that Jews and Muslims live in harmony. What place is that? It's called... Beverly Hills. everyone, this is Uri Geller from Old Jaffa, wishing you Yom Atzma'ut Sameach, an amazing, happy Independence Day, all the way from Old Jaffa. Look, it's very windy now, but that's the Mediterranean, that's Tel Aviv in the background, and the palm trees, the Russian church, and this is the square of Old Jaffa. So, positive energy to all of you. Here is my hand beating you this incredible power stay positive believe in yourselves and remember this if you can go there with your mind you can go there with your body whatever you can visualize you can materialize so enjoy the holiday ah and before i go i'll bend the spoon for you it's a little funny but nevertheless watch I'm going to bend a spoon without holding a spoon. One, two, three. Watch it bend. There we go. Especially for you all. Happy Independence Day to all your friends, all your relatives, everyone. And to my friends too in the UK. Especially to UK Technion. Bye. What a fantastic lineup. Huge and grateful thanks to all those involved.
I'd like to thank the President of the State of Israel, our Deputy Ambassador to the UK. I'd also like to thank Uri Geller for his lovely message, the Yonina duo, musical duo and sheer band for that light entertainment. I'd like to thank Ida for her wonderful curating. I'd also like to thank Gareth Swan and his team at Higher Frequencies for the technical hard work that's going, behind, going on behind the scenes. This doesn't just happen without fantastic planning. And all of the organization planning, I'd like to thank Alan Aziz, who heads up the team at Technion UK on a daily basis. Thank you so much for your hard work. This day on Yom Ha'atzmaut, I'd like to just quote one man, Warren Buffett, who you probably know invests heavily in Israel. He is one of the greater investments in Israel bonds because he believes in the country. And it was once a journalist who asked him and said, how long do you invest in these bonds for? He says, well, I only know of 10-year bonds. Buffett then said to him, you know what? If they were 30-year bonds or 100-year bonds, I would have invested more because it's a pity. These bonds will last forever. Israel will be around for that long. And so on that note, I'd like to thank all the citizens of Israel who live in Israel, who work in Israel, who invest daily in the country to make it a success, to make it what it is. Thank you for making Israel strong. Let's continue. Let's make Israel strong again. And let's have this party again next year and for the next 100 years. I'd like to now introduce another short Technion film. Before, and then after that, we will sing Hatikva. Thank you all for joining us. Your hearts will be Before we begin, behind the ideas and hurdles, the trial and error, the striving and the greatness, through ups and downs, there is a vision, a vision that never changes, the vision to do good. This is Technion. Where does vision come from? From people like you, enlightened minds, who fill the future with care, guardians of all we share doing good by protecting this precious planet, harnessing energy resources to empower tomorrow and learning from the scientific genius of nature. Doing good by advancing world health through revolutionary scientific insight, medical treatments and life-saving technology. Doing good by opening all channels of data predicting future needs, anticipating the next wave of innovation, and keeping it all safe. Doing good by transferring the power of discovery from laboratory to marketplace, and sharing the culture of creativity across the world. Doing good with the vision to create something from nothing, releasing the power of inspiration so that everything becomes possible. Doing good with Technion, where great minds come together to create a brighter future for all. Technion, from visionary education to a world of impact. We are? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to reintroduce Yonina for Hatikva. Please all stand and sing along. Thank you. Oh, 